hey what's up so let's continue with this issue now the second part is create a simple structure so what I usually used to do in bootstrap when I started learning it it's really hard to read all of this and then understand the whole bootstrap ecosystem so you can create your own uh, templates and structures but they have these starters in the example tab, which is very nice so we can go and you can look at any one of them maybe I mean while creating a to-do list application right so we need a form at the center of our page so we can add stuff to it maybe this one will work so as you can see we have this form but uh, I want to be using this I'll be using a second one uh, I like this one yeah uh, I mean looking at these uh, this is the most one the this is I actually like this one really, really, yeah I, re I really like it so it's this one here start a template so now to copy this code in our HTML we can actually right click here and view page source so this is the source for this page I won't include anything of these I would, I would, I'm only interested in anything inside the body that is not a script tag so I will copy this okay because we imported our script tag like that like what they said we imported these two we also imported our styles their styles so we only need this HTML so let me remove our the buttons and just import that and let's go and click look at this so yeah it's it's a little bit a little bit similar but these are not the same right because pretty sure that they wrote some custom CSS that's what we they usually do they write some custom CSS for these or they modify them but yeah as you can see they wrote their custom CSS for this to be modified a little bit so we can actually click on this link so let's copy and let's put it inside our CSS and let's create a file called index.css and let's paste this here okay and this won't be applied inside our index unless we imported it like this and a quick thing you need to remember you need to always to import your uh, bootstrap at the end okay so because it will override oh yeah I would, I would just come to it but always import it at the end so we need to have the relation it's a style sheet where it will be go from the current directory remember dot means current directory go to CSS then grab the index of CSS now let's look at our code our page it will be the same which is very nice um, so there is a quick thing you need to remember about CSS importing using the link tag everything I mean the priority of the CSS follows the line number so if there is maybe something in this in this that modifies a class that exists here or the same class exists here but with different rules this will override this because it's uh, like because it's uh, com because it comes later to it so if this is the case if we imported our style before everything from here if it's uh, similar to the style from here it will override it but we won't see this thing here because I mean we only have like the body padding and the starter template so what we can do to test it let me grab the this class that we have inside our nav bar I mean don't need to do this but I will just do it with you uh, you see this class let me override it here let me put this background color and I will mark it as important so as you can see my styles override the styles from bootstrap because it comes later to it so what I can do let me turn this here this and as you can see bootstrap now overrides my styles so yeah this is something to remember not that important but uh, something really cool to remember another thing I want to show you uh, as you can see our code now looks a little bit ugly there is a very cool extension here called prettier yeah this one uh, it will format your code 
and it will work for a lot of things HTML, CSS, JavaScript so install it and after you install it go to files, preferences, settings and then open this with like this click on this one it will open as JSON and you will need to put this so editor.format on save true so any any time you save this it will be formatted I'm not sure yeah so it's now formatted not sure why my control s does not work but this is how prettier will format it for you if prettier does not work like it did for me just click control shift p or command shift p if you are on mac uh, click format with and choose your formatter i choose prettier and will be formatted like this i i believe this is uh, much cleaner but uh, we won't be needing all of this so let's remove these link and disable and drop down so there is the link this li this is the disabled one and this is the drop down now yeah this is actually much cleaner and we don't need these two the search and the search button and the search input so we can remove this it's inside this form as you can see this is the button that says search and this is the input nice so I think this is enough as a starting point but let's oh not but let's, now let's just uh, commit this so tip, type reset this will reset the whole view in your terminal and now put git uh, dot to add everything Get commit create or inside the codes to remember this create basic structure and let's just put the ID of the issue to reference it now let's get to push origin master I think I said I need to create a, a new branch and pull request. Let's just skip this for now. Let's just continue with this. Uh, and let me refresh now. You'll see now we have two commit messages that reference this issue. This one and this one. And to me, I think this is a good structure to start with. So I will be closing this issue. Now it's closed. So. I mean this might be not that useful if you are working alone but if you are working with people if if you have like these kind of issues and they are uh, or they have details they can understand why you are creating or why you are adding the code you are adding so which is very nice and when you finish just close it this is how I usually work with my friends we will usually create issues and reference them so yeah I think in the next video we need to go to our we need to go to documentation and grab a form so we need to have a form like this but in the middle so we can type the name of the to-do list or not type the text for a to-do in our to-do list then a button to add it and we will display it at the bottom so yeah uh, yeah if go to components pretty sure the forms are there I usually get lost so far. Yeah, it's this one. So we will copy maybe this one and remove the password. So yeah, I think this is. I mean, the, my intention were that this will be for absolute beginners, but maybe it's like someone that knows a little bit about web development or at least starting to do it. Uh, maybe I'm moving too fast. So please tell me in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to help. So yeah. We can stop this now and thank you for watching.